It's such a colourful picture, this idea of an Iron Age funeral with this important man, this leader, this chieftain, lying in his open grave with his chariot and his horses and the whole community converging to witness this event and feasting together. And right now, conservators at Museum of London Archaeology are working on an astonishing set of finds which demonstrates just how important feasting was to Iron Age society. I'm joining John Thomas, whose team discovered 11 cauldrons near the village of Glenfield, near Leicester, and Liz Barham, who is conserving the cauldrons. I'm hoping their work can tell me more about how feasts bound Iron Age society together. So this is a CT scan of this cauldron. It is, yeah. And it's picking up the, the iron really nicely and showing you details that you, you, you can't see here. Yes, yeah, so you can see the ring handles really clearly and the band that's attached to the rim, all made of iron. Um, and then that's riveted to the copper bowl beneath, but um, that doesn't show up because the copper is so thin. It is incredibly thin. I mean, you know, where it's fragmented, you can see just how thin that metal is. Yes, I mean, in some cases, with cauldrons of this type, the metal is even a tenth of a millimetre thick in places. So they're terribly skillful in, in making copper bowls of that thickness. They have averaged out at about 50 litres or so yeah. per cauldron. That's a lot of broth, or whatever it was. I mean, do we know what was in them? We have found some small pieces of bone in there and also some um, small charcoal pieces in, in, in areas mm. um, on the surface. But um, residues have been found on similar cauldrons have shown that they've had meat, meat stews in, honey-type mead drinks in them, mm. so alcohol, mm. um, but, you know, sort of catering on a large scale. So this is just one of how many cauldrons did you find? We got 11 complete ones and uh, broken fragments of many others all across the site. But it's a lot of cauldrons altogether. Why do they need so many cauldrons? They're thought to be involved in large groups of people coming together certain times of the year, um, perhaps to celebrate marriages or mourn um, people have died, or just bringing people together for creating workforces. So, yeah, you know, if you needed yeah. something like a big roundhouse building, you get your neighbours in and say, build us a roundhouse and we'll give you a good feast afterwards. Yeah, and that yeah. may be what's going on here. Whether laid on when a cranog was raised or to accompany a spectacular funeral, feasts were the glue that held Iron Age society together. 